Hey guys, it's Chrysler. Welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be the last video in my IUD series because it is the last thing that I can think of talking about because it's now gone and I got it taken out. Well, there's more to that story actually. I'm going to get into it in a bit. So yeah, this whole experience has been a wild ride. That's basically what I can say. And I did have high hopes for this type of birth control and unfortunately it didn't work out for me. And I hope that these videos that I've made over the past few years have helped. So yeah, let's get into taking out the IUD. And just to be clear, I had the pair guard, the copper one, the non-hormonal one, and I made that choice because I didn't want hormones and I liked that it would be in there for 10 years, which was awesome. I got it taken out because I had a bunch of problems that were starting to come up and I wasn't really sure if it was IUD related, but I just stuck it out for three years. And this year, the year that I got married, I decided to get it taken out because we just got sick and tired of it. We, my husband and I, we, you know, had been together for, let's see, four years, no, three years, and then I got it put in, and it just changed things. It changed our intimate times, intimate times, who says that, okay? It changed our sex life. There was pain involved for me, and that I'm still working on because it did cause a lot of trauma, so that is still an issue. I don't know if it takes a while for the body, the cervix to go back to normal. I don't know these things. So I'm just banking on that because yeah, that's what I'm dealing with right now. So next we're gonna talk about getting it taken out, which is going to be very awkward for me. And sorry, the shirt keeps going like that. But yeah, this is awkward because I took it out myself. I'm not trying to say that it's the best way. You should go to your doctor to get it taken out. But for me, I was just so traumatized from getting it put in. I was not on my period when it was put in, so it was even more painful, I believe. I'm convinced that it was more painful because my cervix is closed. So basically my appointment, I tried to line it up with when my period would be there, but unfortunately my period came a little bit early, so I would have been done with my period. So I just decided to <laughs> take it out myself in the bathroom and at the end of my period i watched people on youtube and they talked about it and i was really scared to do it because of the pain during sex so i was afraid that my cervix is really um sensitive but honestly it was like nothing i felt the tiniest bit of discomfort people had said i felt like a tampon coming out it was more than a tampon but yeah i took out myself and i was like so happy i cried because I just felt so free. I still feel so free. That's all I can describe it as. I feel free. I feel liberated. I just feel, oh, it's so nice to just be myself and know that there's nothing in there because even getting it put in for the first time, I felt this weird feeling of having something inside. And I was like, will I ever get over this? I don't know. I eventually did. But yeah, just knowing that there's nothing in my womb and she is just happy and living and nothing is bothering her just makes me so happy i still went to the doctor's appointment and got my pap smear very important ladies and i ended up telling them that i took it on myself which was very awkward and i heard them talking about me but i was really happy with my decision and it was free i was also wondering how much it would cost so I don't worry about that. I've seen a lot of people on YouTube talk about the price of getting it taken out. Literally, the doctor just yanks it out and they're charged you know, a lot of money for it. So I was concerned about that, but everything went well and there was no, no problem. But please, I'm not a doctor. I'm not telling you to take it out yourself. If you have one, I still recommend going to the doctor. Things can go wrong but I was just willing to take that chance. And if something went wrong, I would just end up going to, you know, urgent care or something like that. Next, we're gonna talk about the pain that I was experiencing. So I experienced pain through, I believe my sciatic nerve, and this happened two years in. So I was dealing with this for two years, and I honestly thought maybe it was from exercising, maybe I did something wrong. It was only on the left side, which is pretty typical for it to happen only on one side and i dealt with it it was just so annoying it would flare up throughout the month but on my period it would really get irritated and i would just be in pain so on top of the heavier period and 
more cramping. I was dealing with sciatica pain, so it was just a triple, you know, pain whammy for me every single month. And I waited until I got my period without the IUD in to tell you guys that everything is just normal and I didn't even realize my period was coming because there was no cramping. Normally I cramp a day before and I'm just waiting for it, but I got my period and it was like nothing was happening. It was whew, it was a whole new world. My sciatica was non-existent for the period and I did have some pain the week after it was taken out, but I haven't had sciatic pain for a month and it's just crazy. I did get a sonogram because I told the doctor about it and they said they would check for cysts and things like that. I still haven't gotten the results back, but I'm not concerned honestly because I feel like a normal human. Like there's no pain. I, oh my God, I'm so excited about this and I just can't believe I dealt with it for so long. It was really debilitating and so annoying and I'm on my feet a lot for work. So like having my period was just so, so bad and I just can't believe it. It's done. Next up, I wanna talk about the change of birth control. And in my last video, I mentioned that we were doing a FAM, which is the fertility awareness method. So you take your temperature every single morning before you get out of bed. And you do wanna check your cervical fluid, but I don't really do that. I mean, I notice it, I know what's going on, but I really just go by the temperature and use protection when you need to. Some people abstain. And that's the biggest change, actually for our married life other than like finances and regular stuff having our birth control method be a team effort now and i do feel closer to michael because of that so the change in birth control and making sure that we are on the same page as far as intimacy goes it's just so nice it it really makes us feel like a team in making sure we don't have a baby because we're just we're not ready for that and we're really not sure if we're going to have any kids we're really really not sure and we're at a point where really we're really uh, diligent on preventing it that i mean if it did happen then it happens but yeah we don't know what we want i'm not going to talk about it too much but i do want to talk about the pain i was having during sex so my cervix became really um sensitive and i know that when you get the id put in they're supposed to fit it to your body going back to the sciatica pain I just think that my body really rejected, started to reject the IUD and it really was not for me. I think my uterus or something, my muscles, my nerve, everything, you know, it's all, I'm a tiny person. I think that it was all just connected and my nerve was just very irritated. I know people can get pelvic inflammatory disease and I don't think I had that, but I did wonder because through all my you know, Googling and research, that's one thing that kept coming up, but my doctor didn't mention anything like that. So yeah, I really just think the IUD being there was just super irritating to my body and it was not happy and I'm so happy I got it taken out because yeah no words now the pain during sex that was something i was hoping would go away automatically but i do think that the body needs time to heal because prior to having it put in i had zero issues zero issues with pain um like physical pain but i do think that i'm still kind of traumatized from feeling you know all those moments so I'm really hoping that that goes back to normal because if it doesn't, I just can't imagine. Like if we decide not to have kids, like the IUD is the one thing that messes up my, you know, organs. So hopefully that is not going to happen. Hopefully it goes back to normal. But I do know that the cervix moves throughout your cycle. It goes up and down. It gets hard and soft. So we do pay attention to that. Well, I pay attention to that because, you know, we talk about stuff everything so hopefully that stops and I can just be normal like I was I'm hoping this is my last IUD video but if you guys have any questions for me leave them in the comments I would love to help with anything that I can answer any questions so again talk to your doctor I'm not a doctor I'm just sharing my experience with the IUD and do your research before you get one put in if you are you know looking to get one put in this is just one story 
that I felt like I needed to share with people. So that is it for this kind of awkward, but not really awkward video. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it and thought that it was helpful. I will see you in the next video and I hope you're having a great day. Bye.